hot labor market. You've been hearing me talk about hot labor market for a long time. And we still are in a very, very good job market. Although we've got some nuanced changes that I think it's very important that you know about. So in my hands here, I've got a Wall Street Journal article. Uh, the title, Hot Labor Market Isn't Helping a Certain Group of Job Seekers. So who is that? So they focus on one young man uh, who is a laid-off copywriter. And he's been searching for work since December of last year. I wish he had found me. He should not be searching for work for almost a year. I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now, I don't want to criticize anybody, but I want you to hear me say, if you've been searching for a job in the United States for close to a year, you're going about it the wrong way. It's that simple. But um, this is what he says, and this is part of, the, of a clue to his journey that may be synonymous with yours. This is a quote. There's sometimes thousands of people applying for the same job, especially if it's remote. So, Alex, you know how I've been talking about on the show about all these people that say, I'm not going to go back to the office. If they make me, I'm going to go to a remote job. And you've heard me say, where are they going to go? Turns out I was right. They're not going anywhere. They're all gathering online and they're going, I'm not going back in. I'm going to work remote. Well, Guys like me have been shouting from the mountaintops that the amount of remote jobs available are back to pre-COVID numbers. So it's a lot lower. So this guy is an example of what I've been telling you. He wants a remote-only job, but guess what? There are a whole lot fewer of those and a lot of people who want them. So now you're applying to a job that literally he says thousands of people are applying to. Can I just tell you, you just might as well go play the lottery tonight. You are going to get the same results applying for a remote job online that you will get statistically playing the Mega Millions or whatever the Powerball. I'm just telling you, you might as well do the same thing. Your professional strategy is now, I'm playing the lottery. Are you kidding me? The Labor Department reported that 336,000 jobs were added to the economy last month. Now, that is double what economists had been predicting, but the deeper dive shows that it's not so great, especially for white-collar workers who are still having a tough time finding that job with better payer perks. 70% of the September job gains were in three sectors. Government, bleh, like the government needs more freaking people working for it. Give me a break. Healthcare and hospitality. Now, here's the story on hospitality and leisure. Those numbers are still recovering from the massive loss and cuts that they took during the pandemic. So they're playing catch up there. But if you look at professional services, which contains, let's just say, a lot of different jobs that are in the white collar space, they just call it professional services. Those jobs only increased by 21,000. That is a significant, significant slowdown. And can I also tell you that those jobs are largely being created by all the people that left. The overall unemployment rate is still flat at 3.8%, still very, very good. Uh, but IT sector unemployment rate rose to 4.3%. So what's going on there? A lot of companies, large tech companies, overhired during the pandemic. We've reported on that on this show. And the reason they did that is because they were trying to pull talent off the street and kind of go, all right, let's go get this talent. We're crushing it in profits right now. And remember, these are publicly held tech companies, and they're flush with cash. And so they went out and they hired a bunch of people. And we've we've shared story after story after story on the show of people saying, I was getting paid $250,000 just sitting in the office all day. I didn't do anything. And so they overhired to pull talent off the street. So now they're letting that talent go. That's a part of it. Um, and so Janko shows Associates, uh, which uh, tracked this federal data, uh, says there are now 120,000 unemployed IT pros. Based on the analysis, the IT job market um, is, has gotten poorer. Now, let me explain something. Because I endorse Bethel Tech, and I just got a text, by the way, from Ryan Collins this morning, CEO of Bethel Tech, and another one of our Ken Coleman Show listener viewers uh, just landed a $90,000 tech job. So I don't want you to hear mixed messages here. 
These numbers that I'm quoting to you are tech sector only. So these are tech jobs in tech sector. But as Ryan Collins, CEO of Bethel Tech, has told you many times, I'll repeat if you haven't heard him say it, there are tech jobs everywhere. So you would not consider Ramsey Solutions, for example, a tech sector job. We are a media company is what I would call us. And, and, and so, but we have lots of tech jobs. In fact, we're always looking to hire. So if you want to get in tech, go to Bethel Tech, get qualified, and apply at Ramsey Solutions. We need tech. Okay? So understand, there are a lot of tech jobs open in healthcare, finance, so a lot of different sectors. Um, so is the hiring market cooling a little bit? Yes, I've been telling you this. This, this economy, by the way, just for full disclosure, because uh, I get I'm I'm on Fox Business, Fox News, I do radio stations all across the country. They ask me what I think about this economy. I don't I don't know what to think of it. It's bananas. This jobs report comes out. GDP is up big. People are spending more money than ever, but that's a problem. So don't get lulled into the well. The GDP was great. Well, yeah, the American people are spending like Congress. Student loan payments are now due. Credit card debt is an all-time high. At some point, the this all comes back. So don't get lulled into this. The American people are spending like crazy right now. And so everybody's going, oh, this is great. And we're about ready to come into an election year. So both sides of the aisle are going to have their economic narratives. But if I listen, if I work for Joe Biden right now, I'd be talking points out the ear right now, going, look at this economy. Gross domestic product is up. Unemployment is low. I mean, that's what I would be saying. But it's not the full picture. Inflation still stubbornly high. Interest rates through the roof. Housing market slow. And there's a lot of negatives. So we're in a weird economy that if just one domino falls the wrong way, this thing could get really crazy quickly. So why am I sharing this? If you're seeing tech jobs begin to shrink a little bit, what you're seeing is big tech and publicly held companies are hedging their bets right now. That's what you need to know. They're hedging their bets. What's 2024 going to look like? Doesn't look like we're heading into a recession right now, no question. But we're coming into election year. We've got a very destabilized situation in the Middle East. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. The reason I give you guys the news is because I'm not a uh, sky is falling guy. I'm not. But if you're looking to make a move, you better make your move. And if you are holding on to the I'm only going to work remote, I've got bad news for you. You are going to be frustrated and in some pain if you hold on to that position. Every time I say that, I have somebody get on social media and they get their little fannies hurt. Kent, why are you against remote work? For the love of everything that's holy, I'm not against remote work. I'm just telling you there's not as many remote jobs left. So I'm telling you the truth. And we're watching stories like this where a guy goes, I only want a remote job, but now I'm applying for a remote job and there's a 1,000 people applying for it. Because you won't work in an office. Sparky, if you want to work, you're going to have to go where the jobs are. We can't just will things to happen because that's what we want. Hybrid work is the game now. Go get yourself a good job where you got to go into the office. And you're probably going to have a couple days a week where you can work remote. But remote 100%, it's just not there right now. I'm sorry, but you need a freaking job. By the way, go to KenColeman.com for all of the free resources and paid resources we have to help you stand out in the job hiring process. Stop applying blindly. Please, you might as well go spit in the wind. Connections, connections, connections. That's how you get noticed, and that's how you get the job. You can do this. I'm here to help. 